Hi everybody, Dave Pardue on the Outer Banks of North Carolina with the Fujifilm GFX 100. Storms were coming, but I didn't care. I hadn't been to the Outer Banks in North Carolina since I was a kid, and I was excited to be back. It's grown some since then, but the magic and the beauty and the subtle mystery of this place and the old school charm, they're all still here. I could feel it pulling me as I got closer in and getting stronger with every turn. You can pout about the weather or you can shoot in it. I pouted for a bit and then I got to shooting. did. I was toting a medium format camera loaded with 102 megapixels. Made by Fujifilm, artisans of old school cameras with new school tech inside. And you can really put that kind of resolution to work in a place like this. So armed with a bevy of really good lenses alongside, I set out to capture everything that the January winds and the Atlantic waves might toss my way. Out here, you certainly want to be shooting something that's hardy. The GFX100 and the GF lenses are weather sealed, so they certainly don't mind some light drizzle and a little sea spray. And fortunately, unless there's a nor'easter coming, the gulls and the shrimp boats don't seem to mind the drizzle either. On the second day, the storms were moving on, and I was having a hard time putting my finger on how to best describe the beauty of this place, how to put it into words. Then I realized there's nothing I can say. I can only try and show you. And I figured it was time to get wet.
medium format cameras are generally known for portraiture and landscape shooting. But this camera is different. It has in-body image stabilization, which is a first for a medium format camera, as well as phase detect autofocus. And when you combine those features with the weather ceiling and a terrific lens line, it becomes an incredibly versatile system, especially out here. Pelicans are prehistoric to me. They remind me of infinity. They're beautiful and they're graceful and different. And they're so much fun to photograph. The great thing about the Outer Banks is that it's also filled with a wide array of image opportunities. So it seemed like the perfect place to let this incredible camera stretch its legs a bit. The sunrises here can be breathtaking. Maybe the prettiest I've ever seen. The Velvia film simulation on the GFX 100 can really help capture the magic of shots like this. Grab another cup of coffee and we'll head down south. The drives around here are worth the trip all by themselves. This place is otherworldly. And there's a lot of neat places on the Outer Banks, but the coolest place is definitely Cape Hatteras. It's just removed from time. Now let's go find some surfers. The waves down here are said to be legendary, so I was just hoping to get a glimpse of them here on this midwinter day. And the great surf gods didn't disappoint me. Watching good surfers in these powerful waves is breathtaking and beautiful. It's a work of art right in front of your eyes. Part of me wanted to shoot, and another part of me just wanted to sit on the beach and watch them all day. But I tell you, this medium format camera proved more than up to the challenge in this tricky environment. And yet again, the incredibly high resolution also came in handy.
It was another great day on the Outer Banks. We'll head north now to another world. Have you ever been somewhere that seemed like a dream? If you like mysteries, well, the Outer Banks of North Carolina is filled with them. I read the books of Charles Wedby before I came here this time around, and they sure did put the hook in me. If you came to this place from England or Europe in the 1500s, you'd have thought you'd landed on another planet. No wonder they called it the New World. My favorite local mystery is the legend of the dolphin they knew as Hatteras Jack, who led ships past the shoals and safely to shore in the late 1700s, and all for the love of doing it, they say. I was hoping to see a dolphin or two on this expedition, and the descendants of Hatteras Jack did not disappoint me. Then I came upon a beautiful clearing and saw what looked like an alligator crossing a saltwater channel, only to find that it definitely wasn't an alligator. There's so much to find here that brings out a natural sense of wonder, even in today's world. And actually, I'm not sure if today's chaos ever fully made it here. Legend and local lore believed the pirate known as Blackbeard buried treasure here, and that it remains to this day buried somewhere in these dunes. But I got lucky and just happened upon what I believe to be one of his caches as it was surfaced by the tide early one morning, just after the fog had lifted. Within just a few miles, you can be in a place where you look in all directions and swear you're in the deep desert. It's a place called Jockey's Ridge, and it's where Orville and Wilbur Wright began to bring their dreams of powered aviation to life in the early 1900s with their glider experiments. The National Memorial built to showcase their achievements is right down the road in Kill Devil Hills and it gave me the chance to get a closer look. It's an inspiring site to visit and has a timeless feel. Definitely a place to go if you come here. And so, my time on this journey was coming to an end. I didn't know what I'd find going back to the Outer Banks of North Carolina after so many years. What I found was stunning beauty, some intrigue, Mother Nature in all her glory, and some really nice people. The other locals were friendly too. I never wanted to leave the Outer Banks. And I never wanted to return this camera either. They felt made for each other due to the immense variety and potential of each. And I could easily spend a lifetime shooting here and still not capture it all. If you've lost your sense of wonder, roaming certain areas of these islands can help bring it back for sure. I've read that our soul seeks a true state of being. Now the Outer Banks is one of those places that stays true to itself. It's old school ocean. It's real. 
and it sure is a neat place to be. I spent many hours over many days in the surf hand holding this camera. And even though the sensor and resolution are incredible, the overall size and weight was never a problem. There's really nothing like the GFX100 anywhere near this price. And in fact, likely not at any price. Thanks everybody.